What is going on everybody? Welcome to another In The Out episode. It's been a while, we are back. It is winter, it is snowing, it's gonna be a beautiful night. We're doing a little truck camping in the Silverado. Uh, maybe a dinner and a movie night. It's gonna be nice and warm and cozy in the truck. Snowy and cold outside. We're gonna have a lot of fun on a beautiful night. Stay tuned guys. kind of um, north and south along the I-5 corridor right now and um, there's a campsite just off of the highway up here so I'm gonna go check it out and see if there's any spots and I'm gonna try to grab a spot and then we're gonna run back down the highway and go get some food but you know you never know so I want to try to get the spot really quick if there is one and then uh, go down and get some food and we'll head back so I will we'll see you at the campground really quick and then we're gonna go down and get some food and uh, <laughs> a little bit of a driving around and shuffling this and that but at least everything's close. I think it's only like ten, five, ten minutes down the highway uh, from the campsite to where there's like some food and stuff. So let's go check out this campsite, see if we can get one, and then um, run down and get some food, guys. freezing cold out and pouring and this campground is about sold out. Anyway, we'll see if we can find a spot. Check this out guys, we're actually underneath Interstate 5 um, southbound and northbound, like all the semis and traffic and everything, but there's river. Uh, river actually looks pretty high. Ooh, the color doesn't look bad, there's some visibility in there. So, um, well I'll share with you guys in the update, but uh, we do update mid episode. I'll show you guys in the update, but we got some changes as far as like how we're going to approach river fishing for me in the future. I'm um, trying to get better at steelhead and salmon fishing, but the exciting news to share in the update. Anyway, man, it's nice to be by the river and uh, crazy to be under I 5 though, like literally in the middle of north and southbound lanes. Um, and their cars are just flying by, but uh, yeah. We got, we got a campground, the campground's packed. Anything that had power, sold out. Everybody's plugged in and hunkered down. And um, yeah, we don't have like, our campgrounds don't shut down in the Northwest. Like people go out and camp. So anyway, we're gonna, uh, if it gets cold, we'll do the propane, but let's go get some food before it gets dark. So I'm really hungry. And uh, this will actually be a first time um, on the channel. We're gonna go get some food. I'm gonna go get some comfort food to deal with the movie have a good dinner and uh, watch some movies and be nice and warm and um, anyway let's go get some food guys um, I would like to get a I think a chicken pad thai hot chicken pad thai and Are you sure? Yeah, All right. and um, a fried rice. Yeah, or, and do you want the meal or just a side of fried rice? Just a side of fried rice. Just a side. Um, and that's it. All right, so it's going to be for you to go today. Well, to go, please. Can I have a name for the order, please? Trevor. Trevor. And I would love some chopsticks. really good I have never went and got just hot food and then went to the campground and ate it so I'm so excited to just have some hot food uh, I got some chicken pad thai hot the, the guy wanted to make sure I wanted hot no I'm, I don't know <laughs> and uh, cider ride right fried rice 
Anyway, it smells so good. But uh, yeah, let's get to the campground and get set up because I want to get all like tucked in, get a movie going and eat. It's 3.43 and I haven't ate today. I've just had a Red Bull. So uh, um, I'm starving and ready to get camp set up and be in the back of the truck and chilling. So let's go get that camp set up. Well, we're not gonna need that. Get the power. All right, well, I can tell it's gonna start to rain in here pretty soon and it could snow. Um, you know, I don't know, like I live about 400 feet up. So we were 400 feet higher when we left when it was snowing at my house, but one good storm and it could start snowing here. It's cold. Um, so I wanna get my bag of stuff, get the food and then uh, get in the back of the truck. All right, well, I have a feeling it's gonna rain and snow pretty hard on us uh, here in a little bit. Let me see. So we got currently 39. Um, looks like a low of 35, so it's gonna be wet and like the big storms will snow and stuff. And um, there is a winter weather advisory. It says, uh, Winter Red Weather Advisory, these conditions are expected to last until 4 p.m. Sunday, March 3rd. Uh, National Weather Service, Southwest Washington, Cascade Foothills. So, uh, cool. 39 degrees, 35. Feels nice in here. I mean, at least it's not 19 or zero, but I would like to get it warmed up a little bit. Um, get comfy, eat some dinner, and do all that. So, let's get this thing set up. Bust the heater out. Let's get the fan out. Gosh, I wonder how much. Alright. I do want to take my shoes off. They're definitely muddy. Gross. Okay. Keep those at the very end. Um, I'm really hoping for a plug-in, but we're not gonna have one, so I have to go away. Oh, all right. I did bring a drink. Um, that will bust open with dinner. And then uh, go from there. So we got for movies. 
Oh, it feels so good to be in here. Some of you guys have commented, does the canopy leak? Not really. Um, I've noticed like this window, if it's not pushed all the way tight, it will get a drip, right? It'll start to drip in. So driving and stuff, I gotta make that sure it's nice and tight. And this one's nice and tight and, uh, but nothing, uh, nothing from the um, roof rack or the roof. Okay, we had to make a quick adjustment. The uh, truck's sitting super sideways. So I had to get it to level off because the, the uh, concrete, anyway. Let's check it out. I put the, put the stick on there. All right, she's nice and leveled off. Let's uh, go eat some dinner. Oh, much better. And for those of you that are worried about the propane heat, it has low oxygen shut off. I know you can't always trust that. I do have the carbon monoxide detector mounted up here. I pushed the button and did a test on it and it's working. Um, and I also cracked the window. I won't sleep with this on. It's gonna start fogging everything up. I just don't like to sleep with the fire on, but uh, right now it's really warm. Um, you know, in carbon monoxide, you fall asleep, and uh, that's why I never, I don't have it on when I'm sleeping. Um, and just uh, some of the extra features, um, just in case. And I've even seen where, like, people, they'll light a lighter, and, like, the lighter won't light. And uh, even the heater itself has the low oxygen shut off, and it's still burning, and you can't light a lighter. And so, um, you know, I don't know how much you'd want to trust them. I think they're great to, like, keep you warm and um, take the edge off in bad situations and uh, they're great for outdoors but like inside in here I can barely run it on low because it gets so hot anyway and uh, leave the window crap get your carbon monoxide detector and uh, when it gets warm and fall asleep turn it off um, you can always wake up and turn it back on this sleeping bag I got on Amazon um, it's a zero degree sleeping bag uh, I use it year round right I just it's been a great little sleeping bag, but oh man, the heat feels nice. Anyway, I did um, download some movies. I think we have 5G. Oh no, I didn't bring my hotspot, so. But I did download, I downloaded uh, Air, which is the Michael Jordan story with Matt Damon. And then I downloaded um, uh, Champions with Woody Harrelson about coaching the basketball team special needs kids uh and i seen it once before and it's super cute and funny and so i might need to watch it again because um you know a good laugh is always uh is always welcome so we get the movie going man that heater is already just toasting me you know Whew. um let's get the movie going and then uh let's bust out some dinner guys Ooh, that looks so good. <coughs> like I said that heater is hot. All right, let's see what we got. Mm. you guys like pad thai but so this is something we should try to make while we're camping i would love to do that all right 
get in on some of this. Now, they said, I told him hot. And he said, are you sure? And I said, yes. So this might make us sweat a little bit, but that's okay, it's free heat. Cheers, guys. Mm. Huh. First time going and grabbing some restaurant food to camp on the truck. Mm. It's actually one of my favorite little places. Mm. We got some fried rice. This is my fried rice aholic. Um, Sometimes it's nice to not have to cook. And that's like one of my favorite little uh, little hole in the wall kind of places, and um, just happen to be down here. So, mmm. starting to get hot almost forgot Close that, it's getting a little cold. Turn the heater off. <laughs> the tried and true. <laughs> Trust the Coors Light, baby. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I knew I was gonna get some Thai Thai and fried rice, so you know what goes with that. Oh no, this is too big of a beer for my koozie. Stretching it out. There we go. Coors Light. <sighs> Cheers guys. Having a meal and truck camping and watching a movie and uh, just having a good time. My voice just cracked. My eyes are on fire, and uh, my nose is running. I'm sweating a little bit, but yeah, I think it's right on par with hot. Whew. Thai hot. That was super cute and funny.
All right, let's get a time check. He's doing there. Should I turn the light on? 7.30. Um, there we go. Well, it's 7.30, and uh, it's 36 degrees out. It hasn't really had any weather, just like a little bit of drizzle and rain and um, stuff since we've been here. It's like a lot of the weather came through this morning, but uh, like I said, it's 36 out now. I do have the heater on. I had the heater off for a while and it started to get pretty cold, so probably actually back that off. So I'll be waking up on and off through the night and running the heater, but um, it was a cute little movie, so. I think I'm going to uh, get my pajamas on and um, get in and watch another movie and then just fall asleep. Man, I ate so much food. I'm really like ready to pass out between all the food and like this overly warm heater cooking me and watching TV. It's quite the uh, old man truck camping Saturday night. Uh. <laughs> Alright, check these out. I don't know if you guys can see those, but that's actually... A little tent. There's a little boat and some trees, rocks, and a tent in the water. My camping jammies, man. So, uh, yeah. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put on another movie and fall asleep. It's been a while since we've done an episode. Um, probably like two months. And uh, had a pretty wild winter, so I figured I'd do a little channel update um, within the episode instead of just doing like a channel update episode. It seemed really boring. So um, I hope you guys are enjoying this one. Just getting out and doing the uh, super chill, relax movie and a dinner, a dinner at the uh, in the back of the truck. But uh, let's go ahead and do the channel update, and then I will see you guys back here in the morning. Hey guys, so I hope you're enjoying the episode. Um, like I had said previously, I know it's been a long time uh, since we put an episode out, maybe like a little over two months. So I just wanted to do a little channel update. I didn't necessarily want to do a, a update episode, but I wanted to fill you guys in on stuff, especially since so many of you have reached out and just checked in and been like, hey dude, where's the video or what's going on and whatnot. And, um, that, that was really cool and uh, I really appreciated that. But um, nothing major really had happened. It's just uh, kind of a little bit of the perfect storm. Um, I have a sales job and uh, you know, in sales, you want to finish the year strong and start the year strong. So December and January are kind of hard months in general, you know, just busy at work. And then um, I did shoot an episode. I went out and shot a steelhead fishing episode and uh, got home and there was like a bunch of water trapped in the camera and the film was bad. The footage was bad. I didn't catch anything and that episode fell through. And then I started working on a curtain episode because I wanted to get curtains into the truck and uh man like everything went wrong like the clamps went wrong and the rods went wrong and all the stuff went wrong and it's the most nightmare episode and i actually took some of the brackets that i'd been making out of the truck to do the episode that you guys are watching right now and um i'm gonna finish that curtain episode it was a nightmare um we're gonna finish it it's been a nightmare but uh uh it'll be really cool when we get to it so i've been working on that too and then um you know, I had to travel for work, so I left for a couple of weeks for work, had to travel for work, came home, and then we had a snowstorm. We had this amazing snowstorm when I went down into uh, the, down to town and ran some errands with Miss In The Out. And on the way back, we had swung by this campground, and it was empty, and it was full of snow. So I was like, this is perfect, man. We got back home, 4 by 4 the truck. We were in, in the Green Link, 4 by 4 the truck home. Um, I got the truck ready, and then the power went out. And it was like 18 or 20 degrees. And um, we ended up having to like fire the RV up, get the generator going, run extension cords into the house to get some of the heat going because we have animals in the house. And then the, our chickens aren't used to that weather. So we had to get the heat but going back for the chickens and the water out for the horse because it was freezing all night. And so I didn't go film, film that uh, episode. 
man, there was so much stuff going on. I actually uh, took notes. And then, um, you know, we're talking like a couple weeks into the year now. And uh, one of the things that happened, um, and then I, ha- I, did, I guess I'll just share with you guys, is I, we lost our eldest dog. Um, she was 13, going on 14. And it wasn't a big surprise, but, um, you know, we knew, you know, she was old and being taken care of. And she started to turn on like a Friday and we had to put her down by Monday. I mean, it turned so fast. So it took a couple days off there. And that was about uh, three weeks ago now. And I just, you know, kind of wasn't up to things uh, necessarily and just catching up with stuff and still super busy with work. And it's like, good Lord, like I really want to do this, but I do have a busy job. And then losing Daisy was rough. And she's been in some of the videos and some of you guys might have seen her. She was the elder pit bull. Um, I still have the other two, but uh, so that was rough going through that. Um, but other than that, everything's fine. I, um, between all of this, uh, I bought a drift boat. So I started working on that too. And then I was filming that, but I didn't know how to like incorporate this drift boat episode into episodes that I hadn't even gotten out. And, um, long story short, I've been working on a drift boat like crazy. I, I bought this old clack of crap drift boat, super cheap, um, flipped it over put it took the bottom off fixed all the edges put a new bottom on it i've got it flipped back over now i'm getting ready to do the inside and uh rebuilt the trailer it was on done all this work and didn't really film much of it so we might start filming that moving forward because i want to take that drift boat fishing um on the rivers on the lakes um you know just with other people or by myself and uh it'll be a cool little fishing boat but i want to get it dialed in and get it ready and then just move on to the next thing and um so I was working on that too. So it's just been really busy. But like I said, I uh, I was looking here at um, some of my notes and uh, I actually have one, two, three, four, five episodes. Here's six. So five episodes that I had planned out, written out, and haven't even got out yet. Um, and now we're on number six, um, which is actually number one. <laughs> so I'm way behind. But um, everything's okay. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. I really appreciate you guys reaching out, um, just saying what's up and uh, checking in and stuff. That's super cool. I look forward to the year. We're going to be uh, doing some mods to the TRD, uh, going camping in that, still working on the truck and going camping all over and uh, playing in the drift boat. I want to get a kayak and do lots of fishing. I want to do lots more fishing, but um, just lots of things to come, guys. So I appreciate you. Thank you for uh, checking in on me. I hope you're enjoying the episode. And uh, as always, guys, see you in the woods. Morning, guys. Oh, it's super cold. Oh, oh my hands wet. Oh. oh, it's really rainy. I woke up at like five in the morning, and it was all the windows were slush covered, and uh, now it's pouring rain. And it's really cold. So I think I'm going to get the heater going and uh, warm it up in here, make a little coffee. It's uh, 8 o'clock. Jeez, I guess I slept pretty good. It's already 8 o'clock. Oh, it's so comfy though, I'll tell you this. This bed does pretty good for me. All right, let's get the heater going. It'll be so nice.
cold and rainy day out there. This thing feels good. <laughs> oh. Man, I'm definitely not looking forward to putting my pants back on. They're gonna be cold. I wonder if I can warm them up. Anyway, get the light turned on. Oh. My new, uh, throw some pants on and then get the coffee out and make some coffee this morning. So let's do that. Warm them up over the fire. <laughs> oh, I think we got some new coffee. Got some, uh, ooh, fancy, some new Folgers, classic roast. All right, ooh, that feels good. We are all dressed and ready to make some coffee. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's, it's snowing out. It's kind of nice, it's like watching the snow. Anyway, totally snowing out now. Really pretty. Let's uh, put you guys back. Nice. Well, we did get a little snow. Not as much as we wanted, but dang. It's nice and cold and wet anyway. All right, coffee. That's the problem with trying to make coffee. When you haven't had any coffee and you're not awake. You just threw everything across my truck. There we go. Oh, what's going on here? All kinds of weird stuff going on. I'm drip on my pants. It's really cold. Just get this to boil without. Jeez. There we go. Rough morning with the little coffee thing here. a little like mud. Alright. It's starting to snow now.
You guys can see that. We just had the um, sit here and enjoy it for a minute. It's hot coffee in the snow is amazing. It's starting to stick. Fantastic moment. Some hot coffee and the snow and outside and the heater going. Appreciate you guys. These are some of the moments that I really, really enjoy sharing on this channel and uh just peaceful and relaxing and isolated and calming and self-filling and uh it's soul calming. It is beautiful out right now. I could sit here all morning so much to do but uh gosh what a way to start a uh a morning a little snow and coffee truck camping let's go all right time to close the door Ooh, it's getting cold Beautiful. Oh. All right. Man, I don't want to start the day. All right, well, I'm going to straighten this up, get bundled up, and then uh, we're going to get out there and get out of here. Ooh, cold. Looking like a beautiful day out, though. Uh, Cold. Let's uh, let her warm up a little bit. Man, I wish I could have done this all night. It's beautiful out. All right, guys, that's all I got for you on this one. I appreciate you guys following along to the end. I had a really nice night. It was good to get back out and just uh, camp again. Going and getting the food at the restaurant was such a luxury and just sitting in there with the heat and watching the movie. And uh, I know I felt like a little bit of cheating, but it also was like really relaxing and like probably one of the most relaxing nights I've ever had camping. Just uh, turned on the heat, turned on the movie, ate some food and I slept like, sheesh, I think I went to bed at 10 and woke up at eight. So I slept 10 hours last night. Woke up to this absolutely beautiful, just dumping this wet powder this morning, and uh, or I should say wet sledge. But um, if you guys are new to the channel and you like it, maybe subscribe and follow along. That way you don't miss any updates, or just enjoy the episode as it is, and uh, maybe check out some other ones. For those of you that have been here for a while, I appreciate you sticking around. Thank you for checking in. Um, we're definitely going to try to get back to doing the uh, every two week episodes. Just been a long winter, but. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I had a great time. I look forward to see you on the next one. Lots of exciting, exciting things to come with the TRD, the truck, the boat. We're just going to be out in the rivers, the lakes, the mountains, playing around, doing camping, exploring, and uh, doing everything that goes along with that. So uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the woods.